Okay, for today's review, I will be reviewing a lens that is super wide and can pretty much capture everything in front of its elements. TT Artisan's 11mm f2.8 and it's a fisheye lens. Full disclaimer, TT Artisan did send me this lens for reviewing and they did say I can keep the lens too. Also, everything I say in this video is purely based on my personal experience using this lens for a few weeks now. Also, like all my other reviews too, this review is not going to be one of those scientific in-depth review because there's a ton of that out there. Mine is just merely based on my personal experience of me using the lens and what I thought about it. So if that does tickle your fancy, then I guess this review is definitely for you. Right, so let's first talk about the build quality of this lens. As I've often come to expect, TTR Cezanne is no stranger at making good solid lenses. So far, I have used two lenses made by them, the 17mm f1.4 and 35 mm f1.4 i must say when it comes to build quality they are definitely very well made indeed by the way if you like to watch those reviews do check out the link on the right hand side to watch them this lens is constructed fully out of metal and even the lens cap seems to be constructed out of metal but i can't really be sure it could be some kind of plastic but it just feels like some kind of metal alloy truth be told i did drop the lens by accident before i made this review and i was really amazed that it literally was totally fine with hardly any noticeable dents. Okay, in terms of the focusing ring and the aperture ring, it feels really good and smooth and well dampened. All in all, I would give this lens a five out of five in terms of build quality. Okay, so let's now briefly go through the specs of this lens. This lens is made for the RF mount and is a fully manual lens. This lens is made for various lens mounts, which include Leica M mount, Sony E mount, Canon RF mount, Nikon Z mount, Panasonic L mount, and the Fuji XF mount. This lens is a hefty little lens weighing around 440 grams so it definitely is not a light lens for its size. Lugging it around I must say I definitely did feel its weight. So if you were expecting a real light fisheye lens for casual shooting then I guess this is definitely not the lens for you. The angle of view of this lens is a full 180 degrees diagonally so I guess it is a true fisheye lens. The lens comes with a clickless aperture ring so you video makers out there will definitely appreciate that. The lens is constructed using 11 elements in 7 groups and it has 7 rounded aperture blades which really gives this lens pretty good bokeh when you shoot right up to the lens closest focusing distance of about 17 centimeters and do bear in mind that that is not 17 centimeters from the end of the lens but it is the distance from the sensor itself which does translate to be really close distance in terms of close focusing distance. In terms of aperture at its widest it can be open to f 2.8 and it can be closed all the way down to f 16. Due to the nature of this lens it doesn't come with any front filter thread because it does have this inbuilt lens hood which is permanent and you can't unscrew it at all so yeah. Okay so that's enough about specs for now let's go in and see more samples of how this lens really was like using. In terms of usability and experience, using this lens, I would say it was pretty much the same like using any other lens. Only real difference is that you have an ultra wide distorted image that pretty much captures everything in front of the lens. Being a fisheye lens, almost everything in front of the lens will be in focus. However, I did find that there were times, especially when I wanted to get real close to subjects, I found the manual focusing tended to be in the way of this lens, as it was rather hard to focus precisely precisely for critical focusing and I was definitely missing the ease of using my old 15mm Canon fisheye which is an AF lens so yeah I did find that in certain circumstances an AF would definitely have been great for this fisheye lens especially for those low shots where you really need to get critical focus and you're going to get a lot of background separation so an AF would definitely have been amazing on this lens but yeah in terms of lens flaring I found that this lens was quite okay and it wasn't really really that bad. Also in terms of lens breathing this lens is quite 
are right to. Right then, so what's my conclusion after using this lens for a few weeks now? What do I think about it and who do I think should really get this lens? For me, I feel that it is definitely one of those specialty and niche kind of lens. It's not for everyone. However, I think used in the right context and used well, this lens can make highly dramatic images and just leaves the viewer feeling breathless, especially if you get a good subject. It works well for dramatic architectural shots, astrophotography, time lapses, and even exaggerated portraits in my opinion. However, if those distortions really get to you, you can always correct the distortions in Lightroom if you like. But if that's something that you don't really feel like doing every single time, then I don't really think that this lens is really for you. This lens is definitely for someone who is looking for an ultra wide that is above and beyond a typical ultra wide. Right, so that's it then. I hope you did find this short review helpful and useful. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you do feel like supporting this channel by making a small contribution, I have left links to my PayPal and also buy me a coffee. Also, I've left links to all the gears that I use to make these reviews. So please do check them out if you do have the time. Right then, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.